to 30 something guys and do some improv. <laughs> 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 right? Right, Eddie? Yeah, yeah, I'm 30. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Eddie, you got a suggestion of anything. Show me more! Film noir! Film noir. Film noir. Film noir. <laughs> so will you take my case? I'll be honest, since you're drunk for three days, it's going to have to be for a lot of money, even though you're a pretty dame. Well, I have a lot of money, so that works out. <laughs> Who's that guy behind you? <laughs> He's been smoking there for 20 minutes. <laughs> this is my husband, Steve. <laughs> Realize you two were. Uh... We do all of our cases together. Is that a problem? No, no. Is that a problem? <laughs> I'm very progressive. Even though it's the 1930s, I'm very progressive. <laughs> you know what year it is, Layton? <laughs> I said, I just said the 1930s. <laughs> It was the 1930s. <laughs> My gay lover was sitting at a desk <laughs> talking to some breeder about it. <laughs> My case, and I hadn't told you anything about it. Well, I want you to follow my husband. I think he's cheating on me. Why did you do that? Well, I see him with underwear that isn't mine, and. <laughs> Roger. As you know, I'm very progressive, and I'm okay with your cross-dressing. <laughs> but this isn't my underwear that you're trying on. It's no, it's, else's. it's a gift, sweetheart. I was buying you a gift, and I wanted to try it on myself first, because we have the same frame. <laughs> <laughs> sure, we have the same frame. Yes. <laughs> Both have heavy, heavy breasts. <laughs> no hips. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, just getting a little bit suspicious is all. No, there's nothing to be suspicious of, honey. I love you. I adore you. Okay, good. Okay. Is that my perfume? It doesn't smell like my perfume. No. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> it's the operator. Will you take a call? Of course you can. <laughs> Who else would it be? It's the 1930s. <laughs> Around. It's not that great. My bell loses calls all the time. That's it. <laughs> all right, I'll take your case. All right, good. What's your husband's name again? Roger. Roger. Sounds like an interesting guy. Yeah. Right, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a weird. What? I what? Got a we what? You said. You're cool with this. I am, I am. I just don't want you to like start hitting up. Hey! I asked you guys six months ago to track my missing wife, and you've done nothing about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry to no, interrupt. Oh, we were spelunking that weekend. Oh, it's the in Cabo. Yeah, Cabo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you were the best. Wow. I'm cool with it. <laughs> the 1930s. I'll accept it. But look out for vice squads. They catch you, they'll slow you right in the slam. You know, the jail, the big house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember why I wanted to follow it up with you. 
<laughs> Why? Real condescending. <laughs> and we only take cases with dudes. <laughs> Why would you just do that? <laughs> Why would you just take cases with dudes? Who are you talking to? <laughs> I thought it was very first, I would think it's cute. He looks out the window or just into the middle distance because there's no window. He just kind of sums that's up a, what's going on. Hey. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> also, I wasn't going to say anything before, but what? before you mentioned AT&T, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Remember you said AT&T doesn't exist? What a weird sentence to say. <laughs> this guy asks too many questions. <laughs> Things I can't answer. <laughs> Anyway, about my wife, I didn't want to call you because I figured you'd rather just not know, but it turns out... That is the opposite reason. I came to you to get a reason. I came to a detective agency to detect what happened to my missing wife. Straight right off to Paris with your older brother. Pierre? Yeah. Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah. I'm Pierre. <laughs> Other than the cross-dressing. 
Okay, well, he works for a water company. Um, he's in charge of a, a new water development. Um, in the city. That's my those are my keys. And, Address. I'd like to keep that written down here. <laughs> Just in case, you know. Um, anyway, yeah. He's water company. What water company? The Los Angeles Water Company. <laughs> <laughs> the municipal water company of Los Angeles. <laughs> hey, Bob! So you have a good time working for the municipal Los Angeles Water Company? No, no. Could be hey, look out. There's a water bug over there. Oh, man. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I want it done. I might have stepped on it, or it could have got out my life. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, I don't worry too much about the water, though, when it precise. We got so much of it, it'll last us forever. Yeah. <laughs> at the hospital and there's like another kid that was supposed to be working at the Why would you want to think that? <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I'd rather think my parents were just idiot hobos and they got hit by a train and I'd better off without. I'm pretty fucking sad. <laughs> <too. laughs> my own destiny is in my head. Yeah, but what if I, you got nothing to look forward to. What if I find my millionaire parents? And what if they got rid of you on purpose and then you've got all that false hope and you get to the door and you leave and they go, Sounds Canadian to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> your wife was kind enough to offer us up your house. 
Uh, she is an exchange going back up to Vancouver for Yeah, they're doing this new thing where you can rent out your house for a little while. <laughs> Someone else make a little money off of it. Might be a little ahead of the curve, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can we come in? Yeah, please come on. I mean, I'm already in. I'm making you drinks. All right. <laughs> That's like your Canadian custom. They should call that thing like hair A and A, right? <laughs> I feel like that was terrible wordplay, but I don't understand the specifics. <laughs> so mint julep, huh? What do Canadians learn about mint juleps? Oh, they're big in Canada. Are they really? Yeah. You know the ingredients for mint julep, right? Yeah, of course. It's bourbon, it's brown sugar over ice with some mint, uh, mint. <laughs> it's always served in a tin cup. <laughs> Frozen on the outside. I like to put the whole tree of the mint with tops. <laughs> Aromatic. <laughs> 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 Remember with mint. With basil, I'll do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures, yeah. What, what, what do we got? 
Well, he's with this other lady, and she's wearing his clothes. And he's, he's wearing, wearing her, her clothes. <laughs> I don't know where that leaves us. <laughs> <laughs> That's a leave. That's definitely a leave. What's that pickle for? <laughs> That's not a pickle. Oh no, it is a pickle. <laughs> Maybe he was hungry. <laughs> we gotta track down this lady. Yeah, we gotta find this lady. The lady is the answer to everything we're looking for. I hope. I really hope. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. <laughs> you like mine? <laughs> Sorry, forget our cigarette picture. <laughs> I'm just gonna ask you point blank. All right. No more beating around the bush. Yeah, we should tell like them who we are, but it, I don't think the Canadian thing was working. Anymore. It was a pretty shitty cover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Want a cup? Yeah. <laughs> Tulip. Guess what? We ain't no Canuck students. <laughs> That's right. We ain't never been to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well then, uh, who are you, man? We're Straightforward. Nice little package, right on time. <laughs> There's one thing. Do you want to meet Charlene? Do you want to confront her face to face? You know what I do? I want to talk to the woman who my husband is cheating on me with. <laughs> so I was trying to think of the article. She works down at the fire plant. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is woman's work. <laughs> this is real woman's work, yeah. You know who'd be great at this? Rosie the Riveter. Firefly. I'm talking about Firefly, my man. Hey, it likes me. <laughs> with my husband. Oh my god, he was married? Yeah, that's right. Oh no! <laughs> I was just exploring myself because I don't understand what cisgender roles are. I'm uncomfortable because my gender doesn't match my sexual parts. It's oh. alright, it's a spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> really? Well, we'll figure that out someday. <laughs> Listen, we're all pretty progressive here. I didn't realize you were having, you were having an identity crisis. Yeah, I'll be honest. I feel kind of guilty for shaming you in your place of work. It feels deeply inappropriate now that we're here. <laughs> no, it's fine. Everybody's welcome in the 1930s. You can just go in anywhere. It's the 1930s. What's he We're all sitting here. Down at the fire plant. Two homosexuals. Who's a homosexual? Cross. <laughs> I still got the keys. Why don't we throw it all in the basket? 
Uh, and see what happens to me. Turkey